Welcome. My name is Jared. This is the Currently Rock Hounding channel. And we're going to take a little departure from the rock hounding adventure videos that I normally post here. And we're going to talk about in great depth rock hounding. Every single aspect of this from finding your locations, what you need to bring, everything. We're going to cover it in a series of videos. So whether you've been rock hounding for years and years or you're brand new to it, if you watch the whole series, you're going to be able to learn a great deal of things about this hobby. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and watch the whole playlist. So in this video, we're going to be talking about rock hounding guides, both some that are available today that you can purchase on Amazon, and some that are out of print, and why you're going to want to acquire as many guidebooks as possible for your state. This is, of course, um, easier if you live in the Western United States, where rock hounding is more, mm, more prolific, there's more information, and, well, we have more public lands. So uh, for today's video, I live in Washington State. You can see that I have books about Washington State, Idaho, Montana, Oregon. This is just a, a, some of them. So we are going to be focusing on just Washington um, for sake of conversation, but this would apply to many other states that you could you would live in. Um, and one of the reasons we're going to do this is because one of the things that happens most frequently is when you're starting to get into rock hounding and you're looking for areas, people will get online and ask, where do I find cool rocks, agates, whatever whatever it is that they want to find. And the response is generally look at the guidebooks or do your research. And I would like to try to get rid of that kind of gatekeeping being done and really get in depth and explain some of this. So let's look at these. So here we have three books. We have Gems and Minerals of Washington, which is the, the third one. Put that aside for right now. Um, we have Gem Trails of Washington and Rock Counting Washington. All of these have a bookmark going, all the same spot. Um, we will kind of look at why you're going to want multiple guidebooks for the same state. They all kind of have their strengths and weaknesses. So let's pop this one open. So what we're gonna be looking at is Saddle Mountain. As you can see here, uh, you know, it gives you your GPS directions, which that will come later in another video. It shows a photo of the type of material that you can get. Um, any type of information about the vehicle that you're going to want to have, accommodations, finding the site, detailed driving directions, uh, everything, you know, um, when you're going to want to be able to go there, you know, is it going to be a summer spot, on and on and on. So pretty basic, um, doesn't know maps, things like that, you know, and then kind of shows a photo of the terrain. Pretty basic book, uh, you know, has a little description right up. It gets you most of the way there. I will say that these gem trail books are excellent books. And if we pop this one open, you can see a a better a better photo. This is a more accurate representation. I've been to this location multiple times. You can see it gives a nice map. And right down here, it shows how you would drive in. It has multiple site listings, um, which is great. You know, maybe you check out site A, site B. Shows where the, some uh, radio towers are. And just like the other one, it gives GPS directions. The time of year which it's good to go, camping in the area, what the material is, on and on. Excellent. So between these two, we have a pretty good idea as to what the spot is. And these are both modern guidebooks. These modern guidebooks are an excellent resource. They're easily obtainable. You can buy them on Amazon. And this will get you out in the field. 
Now, bear in mind, there are mistakes in these books. I've gone to a number of the spots and the GPS directions are not always right. Um, sometimes they lead you to the wrong spot. So it's not perfect, but for the most part, if you're looking to get into this, these are an excellent resource, a great starting point, and I 100% recommend picking up multiple guidebooks for the state that you plan on doing the majority of your rock hounding in. Now, there are some older books. So let's, um, well, I pulled that bookmark out. Let's compare these two, and you can see the difference between the old information for Saddle Mountain and the new information for Saddle Mountain. So we have the listing for Saddle Mountain out of the Gem Trails book. And as you can see, the map that it gives, it, it's good. It will help you out. Um, you know, it, you can see Vantage, Washington, and that right there is the collection site where they list a couple of different sites that you can go to. In this older book, we have a much more zoomed in kind of map of the area. Uh, they give a couple of listings here, like there just says that there's some picture wood. Um, you know, these have nice write-ups about each area, which is incredibly helpful. It just kind of adds to your mental picture that you're trying to create about that area, which that's the whole goal here is to be able to use these to get out and start rock hounding. So guidebooks are a must. Now let's talk about some other printed resources that you can get. So this is one of my all-time favorite books. Well, not really specifically for Washington. Uh, you know, there's other states for these, like you can get, like here's Idaho. Roadside Geology. Now, if you're into rock hounding, you may not be into geology the same as a geologist would. But what this will do is when you read it, it will give you a good general understanding of the geography of your state and will help create that picture in your head of where rocks could be. Now, these have an excellent layout. I'm gonna assume that when you go to these rock hounding spots, you will, will be traveling a fair amount of distance, at least an hour or two, generally speaking. So that means highway and interstate travel. These are excellent because, probably, this is organized by highways that you're gonna travel on. There's a lot of good general information about your, your state on the geology of it. Um, if this is all new to you, you know, the first I don't know, chapter or whatever you wanna call it, the introduction is excellent. It will give you a good rundown of your area's geography. Geography, geology. So let's just pick a, uh, an area. So here you can see I'm talking, this is a US2 Everett to Wenatchee. You can see the route. You can see the geological map. And as you drive, it will tell you what you can see along the mile markers, which it's, it's, it's excellent. It's an excellent book to both sit down and read and then as well in the car. So if you have multiple um, people, <laughs> like for me, me and my wife, Sarah, uh, I usually do a lot of the driving and she will read this as we go places. There's been a number of times where we're going through this, we're driving down a highway and there's a cool road cut and I pull over and I grab some interesting specimens. Let me uh, show you an example of that right now. So right here is uh, some granite with pink field spar, which we found out about by this book. We were driving and it said that that was coming up, so we pulled over and got some. Same with this right here. It's a little, a little hard to see. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this is very, very pure slate which is kind of a cool addition to the rock collection. Anyways, um, so this is uh, roadside geology. Definitely pick one up for your state. Okay, so what does that leave us? There is 
a number of books out there that you can purchase but are extremely, extremely expensive because they're out of print. However, most local libraries that are in big cities will have copies of them, not for checkout, for reference only, but you can go and make photocopies of them. So uh, I forget what these are from, but as you can see, there's a number of different spots listed. These are very old books with old hand-drawn hand maps, but for some of the areas that you might be going to, this could definitely give you some clues as to different spots to investigate. You know, part of rock hounding is your, your research before you head out. Going to the library and making photocopies of different old out-of-date resources is just adding to the picture for you. The goal is to get you out and start finding rocks and this is a great free resource that you should be taking advantage of. So check out your library for out-of-date books that are about your local area. Two more good examples of different resources that you could find. So uh, I'm gonna assume that most states are like Washington. And if you get on the Washington Department of Natural Resources website, or you can find these in your library possibly, you can find these great, sometimes old papers. Um, like this is a quite a, quite a thick one. Um, this one's from 1988. About different areas where you could potentially find uh, interesting rocks. So obviously this was uh, typed, <laughs> uh, but it gives some great information about the area. This just so happens to be the Pendere kind of northeastern Washington state area, but it will, uh, it's another free resource, which you can definitely benefit from by uh, going to your library and possibly finding them online. And that will be something that I will also be talking about in a future video, talking about online resources that you can take advantage of. One more, one, one more. Uh, here is a little guide. It's the Washington State Mineral Localities Index. Most states are going to have something like this. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, you have the locality, the nearest city, nearest towns, minerals likely to be found, and then what page of a uh, gazetter it's going to be in, and then any kind of reference sources. So there's a lot here. This is probably 20, 30 pages. Another thing to use for making that mental picture of how you can go about finding rocks. I think that about covers most of the printed resources that you're going to be able to somewhat easily have access to. There are kind of more obscure things out there, different books that you're going to have to maybe go to a rock club for, or um, some of the different gem and rock shows. People will have their own kind of hand-drawn maps of areas, and you can use buy them and use those as well. Generally, from what I've seen, at least in this area, that's going to mostly be for crystal hunting. Uh, people are a little crazy about quartz crystals and things like that. So um, if you like this video, um, please hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell down there. I will be continuing this series, so uh, watch the whole playlist. I'm sure you'll learn some different things. Down below as well, I will be putting a uh, Amazon affiliate links to all of the books listed here. And if you purchase through that, I get a tiny cut of it and it helps me out a great deal. These types of videos take a fair amount of time and research to think about. So if you learned something, I would appreciate that. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching and enjoy your rock hounding.